Hey, wait. Where are you going? Oh, just gonna go check out something. I'll be back in a few. Hasn't been this warm in a while. I'm really happy we came. Tonight's been fun. Though, I don't know. I feel off. It's so beautiful out right now. But my body is all tense for some reason. Feeling very familiar. What is it? Why do I feel so sad? Alone? Oh well. Why not? Just a quick dip. This feels nice. There's something so magical about swimming at night. The water is pitch black, which terrifies me to end. But it's also so alluring. Time to circle back now. Huh? But I don't know. I've been gone for a while now, but as far as I can tell, nobody seems bothered by it. That's not true. I told them I'd be back after a while. They don't have to check up on me every second. What did I... Why is there something underneath? Just so... see if they care. F no. That's so dumb. Why would I do that? Of course they won't come. I never asked them to. They aren't mind readers. And that doesn't mean they don't care. If I wanted some company, I could have I just asked. This is horrible. Why do I always do this? Why do I always get anxious and sad? And then, proceed to give myself opportunities to feel even worse. I'm drowning. I need to get out. I've been down here before. I've survived all my visits so far, but that doesn't make any of this easier. Real realization that this will never go away, that even this will not be my last visit. It's something I haven't quite come to terms with yet.
It's really hard to admit that I still stumble. That even after seeking help, after opening up and working towards a solution, even the smallest things can still trip me up. That even though I feel good right now, the world outside of this moment still strangles me. I don't think I'm being fair to myself though. Expecting things to always be great. It's just setting myself up for failure. This wasn't never just a sprained knee or a common cold. In that ideal with it once and it goes away forever. No, it just gets easier to live with and I think that's good. I think even reaching this point is something to be proud of. Waterbed. Thank you for playing. So this game is same as the other one where they talk about like sad thoughts is like this person is depressed he feels like drowning. He's always drowning. He thinks no one cares for him. No one loves him. It's like he doesn't want to live anymore or something. And he doesn't know if he should. All that stuff. That's crazy, man. We've all been there. Still being there. But anyways, that's the game, you guys. It's crazy, though. I like that scene where where he's trying to fight while he's drowning. And then he just succumbed to it. He just drowned. Like his sorrow. But anyways, that's cool. You know, short, sweet game. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe and like. Tell your friends. Until the next time, I'll see you in the next video. Love you all and stay safe out there.